see. Blah, 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 blah. Voice warm up. Ha, ha, ha. Okay. <coughs> oh, dear. <coughs> Not Corona. Okay. So, it's spooky season, and of course, just about everyone online is serving us some fierce Halloween looks. Undeniably fan-freaking-tastic looks. To be honest, I'm amazed by the talent online. Now, I've never really been into doing amazing looks, probably because I just physically am not talented or ambitious enough to do some of these epic outfits with makeup and DIY and all that stuff. But, and it's a big but, I do love dressing up. Usually I put together a super last minute look and one that's quite wearable in public. I like to keep things discreet but then be able to whip out an accessory that makes my costume in case someone has the audacity to ask what I'm dressed up as. <laughs> Take last year, I was Mrs. Trunch Bull from Matilda. Super simple and actually my usual daily fit, a sweatshirt and joggers. As a kid, I would dress up all the time and it was my absolute favourite thing to do. Trying on my mum's clothes or just chucking things together that I found in my room, playing hairdressers and acting like I was the main character in a movie of my life. In fact, I never really stopped. I mean, if you really think about it, I'm still doing it. But now it's called fashion designing and blogging. <laughs> Plus the bonuses, I get to call it my job. So anyway, for this week's video, I thought I would do some more low key looks. Some highly desirable in real life outfits, but they can still pass as a classy costume for Halloween or any other fancy dress party. Now I've been on Pinterest all week looking at inspo and trying to find something I could do without having to go out and buy stuff. Because that kind of defeats the whole purpose of me clearing out my wardrobe from last week and trying to own less and yada yada yada. So, the first iconic look that came to my mind was Twiggy. If you don't know who that is, then here is an excerpt from Wikipedia. Twiggy is an English model, actress and singer widely known by the nickname Twiggy. Girls are to look even more like boys. Well, that's the message from Twiggy, the beanpole model girl who's turned into a fashion tycoon. If you know me, you know I love anything quirky and colourful and funky and so I just have to get this one out of my system. When I first started blogging and designing that's all I would do, work on creating the most outlandish looks that I could think of, but still make it wearable if you know what I mean. I'm so dedicated to bringing this look to life I ventured into the spookiest part of my house just for you guys. Oh, Guys, I have to make my way through this maze of stuff. You know, like when you have to go in the garage but you're scared of spiders and stuff, so you just wrap up? I literally got dressed and wrapped myself up. Protection on my feet in case there's spiders. So, right, doing the obstacle course now. Where's the button on here then? Fuck, I really hate going in the garage for these things. By the way, oh, my makeup drawers are over there. Somehow I have to rummage through there to get some colourful makeup out to do the twiggy look, so... <laughs> Wish me luck! And that's just about the scariest thing that you'll see in this video because obviously Halloween is a hashtag trending. Also, this makeup look isn't particularly difficult. It's more basic drawing skills, but just on your face. So here goes. Now, on to the next look, Audrey Hepburn, and it's this iconic look where she's eating a croissant in an all black look and some pearls. I managed to find some all black pieces in my own wardrobe. Not sure if they're mine or my sister's actually, but at this point, I don't really care as long as I can wear it and she doesn't find out. Now, obviously, anything I'm going to recreate is going to be modified into a more covered look. As you guys know, I don't really show my skin and I like to wear looser fitting clothing. I cut up some old tights to recreate her long gloves because like I said before, I really didn't want to do any shopping for this video. Hair is the hardest part for me. I find it very difficult to style, but I'm basically using a whole load of hairspray and clips to make my hair look like the half-eaten croissant in Audrey's hand.
We've done two looks now that are mainly all about the head and shoulders. So here's a really wearable full outfit Audrey look. This look is timeless and I am in love. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and be really confident in saying that I like to think this is actually one of my go-to styles when I need to look dressed, but I also need that comfort. The flat ballet pumps are my life. Instead of heels, because you get the same effect, but you don't get the pain. Trousers over a skirt any day, and this fit is super flattering, androgynous, and just powerful if you ask me. Okay, so now I've started to think about my Egyptian side. What about that? The first thing that's come to mind is the obvious, Cleopatra or Nefertiti. Wow, so original, I know. Obviously, Liz Taylor's look in the movie years ago is absolutely iconic, but, however, and but again, Liz Taylor is not Egyptian and she's white. So as problematic as that is, I figured I'm not gonna do a Liz Taylor Cleopatra look, and instead I'm gonna find some iconic Egyptian actors to garner my inspiration. Sosen Budj, who's nicknamed the Nefertiti of Egyptian cinema, Born September 25th, 1959, is an Egyptian actress of film, stage, and television. She received the Best Actress Award at the 34th Cairo International Film Festival. Again, I read that off Wikipedia. Recently, Sosan did a shoot with El Arabia and Harper's Bazaar Arabia, channeling ancient Egyptian paintings, and I was shooketh to my core. I saved these images on my phone to go back and simp over whenever I needed reminding of my Egyptian queen aura. I don't really have the bone structure of Sosan and Nefertiti, but still, one can only dream and dress up. Finally, I kept coming across these images of Audrey Hepburn in absolutely stunning gowns, and they just kept reminding me of my own wedding dress. Seven years ago now, I actually designed my dream dress using curtain fabrics, because wedding dress fabrics were just too flimsy and they had no statement prints on them. Okay, I'm actually quite exhausted now, and although I had another few looks to do, I think this is enough of you guys watching me play dress up. And so I bid you farewell. Until next time, my queens, peace. Psych, I just had to do this one last cover of Audrey Hepburn because she's in a headscarf. And now obviously you know my history with the headscarf. So here's an ode to me and Audrey.